Hello and welcome to an update on the Ottawa investment property market. I'm Patrick Walchuk. If you enjoy getting these videos, click on the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. We'll get them sent out to you every month. So we're going to look at year to date, September 22, comparing it to last year. So what's going on in the buildings uh, that have two to four units in them? There have been 98 properties that traded hands this year, and that's a fairly significant decline of about 23%. The average price is down marginally at about one and a half percent. So unit sales down a bunch, average price is down a little, and in terms of how long it's taking to sell, they're selling in about the same amount of time as they did last year, about uh, 50 days. So when we look at the larger buildings, and this is something I find a little more interesting, if you will. Um, those are the buildings with five plus units in them. We've had 23 of them sell this year already. That's an increase of about, um, excuse me, 28%, although it's only five buildings. But the interesting thing is that, you know, Ottawa could typically have maybe just 20 to 25 of these buildings sell in an entire year. And for the first three quarters, we've kind of reached an entire year's amount of sales. And compare that to what we just talked about with the two to four unit buildings where the units are down. So that's interesting. Um, the average price is now $2,280,000. That's a decline of 26%, but as you know, mentioned in the previous videos, it just means that last year we had a couple of buildings that were much higher in value that sold and, if you will, they distorted this year's price, especially when you have such low numbers to begin with. Um, and in terms of how long it's taking to sell, they're taking a little bit longer uh, in 81 days.